world's greatest disasters. Many hundreds of thousands are set to die, and why? There's not enough advance warning. But in nature, there are signals all around us. Our Earth makes sound and signals, and the animals, they can hear it. Today, earthquake detection is reactionary, which means we respond after the disaster begins, and coastline regions have sometimes only minutes to escape. And it is not enough. The Dollard system is an earthquake prediction unit. It listens into the sounds of nature and its signals, and it can tell when the earthquake is going to strike, and notify humanity up to 48 hours in advance. All around us is nature. There's signals. All man has to do is listen. This whole thing took 10 years to build, where you could get into the frequencies that you couldn't hear through a heterodyning process and then, then analyze them on an acoustical level where they're up in the high frequency, only the dogs hear, they can bring them down into where you can hear and then you can, you can start to hear the dynamics of this electrical process that builds before an earthquake start at the frequency ranges of its origin uh, occur even longer before the earthquake. So there's a whole like week-long process mm -hmm. that possibly is uh, developing here. Unfortunately, upon completion of this whole system, it was taken away from me. Mm -hmm. so, um, so the system obviously is not theoretical. You've done it. You know how to do it. And you're in the process of uh, getting everything together. And as a matter of fact, the, uh, you already have governmental approval uh, to do this system on government land again. Right. Um, so short-term short, short -term immediate needs is the $10,000 to be able to raise money for the bond. Yeah. And then um, your estimate is maybe maybe about $15,000 worth of equipment. Yeah, because I have to buy uh, and hope that I can find them. I mm -hmm. have to get a whole new set of chart recorders. Mm -hmm. The municipality itself is supporting our project along with the federal government, which is basically unheard of situation. Mm -hmm. I mean, the uh, it's fantastic the way that all this is coming together. It's it's just right. leaving everybody flabbergasted how, you know, something that would normally be so much red tape and complications and hassles and denials is just is all just flowing like water. This is is a very rare and valuable circumstance. And it's very you know rare and valuable technology. I mean, the implications are very profound. And for $25,000 to be able to get another functional earthquake warning system is, I mean, it's, it's priceless. Uh, the, the telluric signals that are associated with the earthquake will not propagate more than about 150 miles, okay. which is good because that way then you're not confused by you know mm -hmm. something happening off in the distance. Mm -hmm. So you can build a network of stations in a 150 mile sided triangle mm -hmm. then and determine the situation. But the beverage antenna, not the underground antenna, but the overground antenna will pick up the reflections of the the earth becomes so intensely active electrically that the waves refract through the surface of the earth, refract through the ionosphere, and will come back down to distant locations. And this is what's happened with the Japan earthquake. Unfortunately, uh, we lost the station immediately afterwards, and all the records were lost, the story of Eric Dollard's life. But, uh, but I can recount what had happened, and the, uh, the County Board of Supervisors uh, was there to see it also, so there must be some record of it somewhere in San Bernardino. They took pictures of, of the deal as the the overground electrical activity chart went off the scale uh, one hour before the precursor earthquake happened in Japan. Mm -hmm. It maintained a off the scale level. I had the had attenuation in the system to keep it on on the chart so that I could see the variations up into the big event, and then it dissipated. You know, the one that happened in Mexico, which was closer to the station, uh, did the same thing, and that actually is recorded on the station log chart hanging on the wall outside, and I can show that. 